Hi guys, welcome to the new video. Hope you all are doing good. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can reach Liverpool from Manchester Airport. And I've created more videos on this topic, which you can see on my channel. In that video, I talked about how you can take your coach from Manchester Airport. And I was recording while I was coming from the airport. So it is really easy and it will be convenient for you guys. So you can watch that video from here. And uh, in this video, I'll talk about how you can book those tickets and which one is a good option, whether you should take a coach or a train and uh, do you have to pay extra for luggage? I'll explain everything and all the links will be in the description box below for both the apps, whether it is train line or national express, which you can use to book your train and bus tickets. So watch the video till the end. And before starting, I would like to say if you haven't booked your accommodation till now, then the link is in the description box below for Amber Student. And I have personally booked all my accommodations within the last two years from Amber Student. It is a trusted website and now it's only 15 to 20 days and you all guys will be coming to the UK. So make sure you have booked your accommodations and 80% of the accommodations have already been sold out. So guys do not delay this process and now let's start the video without wasting any time. <laughs> So guys, there are two ways to book the tickets. First is train line and second is National Express. First, we'll see train line. And there is also one more offer. If you will book for the first time, you will get 5% off. And you can download the app from the link in the description box below. And guys, if you want to travel to Liverpool, then you will need to search from Manchester Airport to Liverpool Lime Street. There are two stations in Liverpool. One is Liverpool Central and second is Liverpool Lime Street. And Liverpool Central, from Liverpool Central, there are no direct trains to Manchester Airport. So you will need to select Liverpool Lime Street and then select one way. And I've taken a date of 14 September. You can amend it according to you. And even leaving at depends on you when you arrive at Manchester Airport. Now we'll just search for the cheapest tickets and you will get all the options. So guys, these all are the options and I would like to give you a suggestion. Once you are done with your immigration and you have collected your bags, then only book the tickets of trains or buses because those things can take time. And I personally uh, got late because of my luggage and I missed my first bus. So that's why it's a suggestion. Once you are done with those things, then you can book your tickets from the app and uh, it would it will take only two minutes to book the ticket. So it's better to do it once you are done with all that process. And uh, for example, you want to book any of these trains. So usually it takes one hour 20 to one hour 10 minutes from Manchester Airport to Liverpool Lime Street. And uh, uh, let's take an example. You will be free by 1 p.m. Then you can take the first one, which is 1.32 p.m. And you will reach Liverpool at 2.52. All you need to do is just click on standard and it is £7.30 pence, and click on continue then you will reach to the next page then you don't need to select any of the preferences or travel options just click continue so guys before moving on to payments just select e-tickets you will get a qr code on your train line app which you will scan and you can uh, directly travel or else they will email you the ticket so both ways it is good so just click on e-tickets and continue and the last thing is payment for payments you can use your card, you can use Apple Pay, credit card, any card will work, even Forex card if you are carrying that. And just click on pay now and you will get the uh, tickets on your mobile app and even you will get an email and then you can easily travel through train and you will reach Liverpool within 1 hour 20 minutes. And guys, many of you were asking whether it is allowed to carry luggage in train and do we, do we have to pay extra for it? So if you are traveling through train, you don't need to pay anything extra for your luggage. But if you are traveling from bus, you will need to pay extra, which I'll show you in the next website of National Express. So this was the journey from train from Manchester Airport. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. And now I'll show you how you can book coach tickets, which is from National Express app. So guys, this is the National Express app. And in this, I have already put Manchester Airport. And if you are living nearby University of Liverpool, then there is a stop called University of Liverpool Brownlow Hill. So make sure you select that and you will be dropped off at that location. 
which will be close to Liverpool. Like it will be just right in front of University Square. So if you are living, for example, I'm living at True Student, it is only 10 minutes walk from University of Liverpool. So that would be an easy option. If you are living in city center, then directly select the last station, which is Liverpool 1. So it depends on your journey. I would suggest you to take University of Liverpool, Brownlow Hill, and uh, then let's select the dates. Uh, let's take an example of 13 September and departure time we can do 9 a.m. after 9 a.m. and just click on find your journey. So guys, these all are the options. For example, 9 a.m. it's uh, uh, only four pounds 20 pence. So let's take an example. You are done with your immigration and you have collected your bag at 12 p.m. Then uh, the best option for you would be taking this bus which is 1 5 p.m and it will reach liverpool at 2 p.m so you can directly select this one and if you want to book this click on continue guys there are two options first is standard and another one is fully flexible so it depends on you if you want standard you can select it and just click on continue so guys, if you are traveling from coach, then you will need to pay extra for your luggage. In case you have two large suitcase and a backpack, then you will need to pay 10 pounds extra for one luggage, which is one large suitcase. Only one suitcase and one backpack is allowed for free. Otherwise, you will need to add extra luggage. For example, you can see basic luggage allowances, one large suitcase and a piece of soft hand luggage. Add one extra bag from 10 pounds. So if you have one large suitcase and a piece of soft luggage, which can be your backpack, then that's fine. That is for free. If you have anything extra with that, for example, you have two large suitcases, then you will need to add one more suitcase, which will be 10 pounds. And then it will cost you 18 pounds, 10 pence. If you only have one large suitcase and a backpack, then don't add any luggage and you can continue directly and just click continue. Then guys, you will need to sign in your details. If you are a new customer, then you can fill all your details or you can sign up with Google. And it's the same process as I told you in train line. You will need to pay from your card, Apple Pay, credit card, debit card, whichever is convenient for you and you will receive the tickets. So guys, this was the process. And now you know how you can book your tickets through train line or National Express app. And the basic difference is about the luggage. And uh, as you are coming here for the first time, then of course you will have more than two pieces of luggage. Then I'll suggest you to travel from train. And if you have only one large suitcase and one backpack, then it's better to take a coach. And the main thing is once you are done with your immigration and you have collected your bag, book your tickets after that. And there are plenty of options available. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please leave a comment and if you have any doubts, you can reach out to my Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Till that time, take care. Bye bye guys. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you?